lighting is out of control. So I woke up like really hungry today. So let's see what I I want a breakfast burrito. Hi. Hi. I'm going to do one breakfast burrito, please. Hey, Good morning. Hey, How are you? Up, Roxy, say hi. <laughs> so cute. How are you doing this morning? I'm good. Hungry. Sauce and everything in the bag. Okay? Yes. Thank you. Some ketchup as well. Just oh, cake. thank you. Yes, ketchup. And salsa. Oh, yes. It's like really heavy. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. You too. <laughs> when they know you at your local burger stand, it's not something you should be proud of. <laughs> okay, let me put my seatbelt on. So, I am going to go get some coffee. Um, so, crazy story, I actually stopped drinking Starbucks coffee. And the reason why... One, I'm not really a fan of like Starbucks coffee, like their coffee. Like, oh shit, my camera's gonna fall because it's bumpy here. Like their coffee, the taste of their coffee. Like, especially for someone like me, like I sip on my coffee all day. Like it cools down and I sip on it. So it tastes like piss to me. That's right, I said that. Um, I just, I don't, I'm not a fan of, of piss. I have been drinking gas station coffee and I will say gas station coffee is way better than Starbucks coffee. Sorry, I'm turning. I don't want to drop you guys. It's not just like, uh, um, you know, 7-Eleven or AM, PM. Not that coffee. I've had their coffees and their oldest. The best coffee is, um, oh shit. The best coffee. Hi. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Can it go there? It's kind of far, right? Whatever. The best coffee is Circle K. So it's only $2 for an extra large cup of coffee. The coffee grounds right there when you order it. So it's like fresh, like completely fresh grounded coffee. And it makes such a difference when you're drinking coffee on the strength, on the flavor. I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to make this coffee so you guys can come and try it. The cups are down here. They have all the different sizes. I always go with the extra large because I like to sip on it all day. I come to the French vanilla. Just add that, oops. Just add that in. I always like to put my creamer on the bottom because I feel like it mixes better. They have like different types. I like the supercharged. All you do is you put your cup down here, you press it, you press supercharged, extra large, and I always say leave room for cream. And I just let it brew. And it's so good, you guys. It's like amazing. Literally fresh brewed coffee. Okay, so after I do that, since there's still room, I come to the French vanilla and I just add a little bit more. Just so it fills it up to the top. Oh, and that makes it all frothy. That's how I get my froth, like a latte. Good morning, I feel like I haven't said good morning yet. Good morning, it's early in the morning, I just dropped the kids off, this is what I look like. Okay, so I got this burrito. It's f***ing big. You guys, this burrito is huge. Roxy, get down, I'll give you some right now. Okay, you guys, like, look at this f***ing breakfast burrito, it's so crazy. I feel like the lighting is not to jam. Sometimes we gotta be doing stuff like this, moving around. Yeah, we need better lighting. Okay, okay is that better? That's like morning. Oh, wake up. Yeah, that's better, I think. Oh, Roxy. Okay, so I brought some scarves in my car, so make my camera a little bit higher. I need a mount for my camera. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm gonna put these glasses on. I just feel like shit. I'm feeling a little hot, though. Okay, so I got a breakfast burrito, 
It's so huge, you guys. I mean, look at that. And I got my coffee. You guys, this coffee is so good. You guys have to go try this coffee. Oh my god. It's so good. Keto who? Alright. Don't know. Okay, that is really good. Oh, look at that sausage right there. I'm gonna just add some ketchup. Well, this is like the life. The salsa. The salsa leaked. Okay, so here's the salsa. I'm just gonna add a little bit on top. Um, I love basic green salsa. I don't know why, I feel like mine doesn't come out basic enough. Oh, that is so good. Here, Roxy, you want some sausage? Okay, Roxy. Roxy doesn't like to eat out of my hand. I think she feels like it's a sign of disrespect or something. Mmm. Mmm. Literally, like, food is life. Mmm. <laughs> So when I was bartending, I bartended at a, sorry about all the noise, him near like a quieter place, but it's not too quiet here. Anyway, I bartended at a restaurant, Applebee's. I used to see a lot of elderly couples together and they had a certain connection with each other. like. They were still laughing. It wasn't just like a meal. Like they were enjoying each other's company. But I noticed that both of their steaks were cooked the same. There was couples that like, they didn't have that connection that like other couples would have. And they weren't like really talking. They weren't like laughing. Because to me, laughter is everything. Like you need to be able to laugh. Like at least that's how it is for me. I need to be able to laugh like all day. That's my life. Like, I need that type of stimulation. Like, I need funny. I'm a simple kind of girl if you catch my drift. The guy would order, like, hot wings. And the girl would be like, no, I don't like spicy. And the guy would be, like, disappointed. I feel, from experience, that when a couple eats the same, because food is literally the most important thing in life. Like, ha, ha, ha. I feel that when a couple eats the same type of food, for some reason, they just last longer and they're happier together. That's my theory. <laughs> but then again, what do I know? Mmm. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Every time I see a man, I'm getting full. 
I never eat in the morning. Mm. I've been hungry at work. Like really hungry. I have to take Enrique to the doctor today. Crazy story. Not story, just something crazy is going on with him. Like the kid's been waking up with bloody noses every night for the past two nights. So like two months ago, Enrique got a bloody nose. I panicked, me and Rick panicked. We're like, why does he have a bloody nose? What? It was so much blood. I took him to the ER. It happened like in the night and I took him to the ER and um, they said everything was fine. They ran tests on him, everything. They're like, he's fine. It happens. There's kids who get bloody noses, noses, which is true because my brothers used to get bloody noses. Like I think one of my brothers had to get like a vein fried off or something because he got bloody noses all his life. I think he still gets bloody noses as a matter of fact. When I saw Enriquez I was familiar with it but I just freaked out because like now it's my kid you know so obviously it's more important. <laughs> just kidding mom. I'm <laughs> just kidding guys. Um, It's so funny to me when I make comments like that and people think I'm serious. Guys I'm laughing. <laughs> I'm just trying to be funny. I understand if I'm not funny to you. Anyway, so it's it's just happening in the middle of the night. He wakes up coughing and there's blood everywhere. And it's so freaking scary. So today I'm gonna try and get him in at the doctors to see if they can see him after I get out of work. I get out of work fairly early. I, my hours are from nine to three, so. I'm getting grossed out, I'm done. Here's the burrito. I hope I got a good thumbnail. I'm so cool. Rick, here's my leftovers from a mukbang. Because me and Rick do like the same foods. If you know what I mean. Oh, so bright. So you guys have been asking me like how my job is going. Oh man, you guys, like. It's crazy to me that I get to do that for a living. Like, it's crazy to me. It's crazy. Like, I literally... I'm just so grateful. Like, I'm just so grateful for my life, you guys. Have no idea. Fuck, I think... When I put something here, I blur out fucking unique. Oh, hopefully I didn't mess up this video. Then I won't upload it. Anyways, I'm just so grateful to have this job. And to be able to, like, just be around all my students, like, it's just, it's so amazing, you guys. It's so fucking amazing. None of them know I do YouTube, by the way. I'm like, yeah, I'm not praying for a viral video these days. Something I do need from you guys, though, is I need you guys to comment. So basically, when you guys comment, it helps my channel get recognized by YouTube. The more activity on my channel. And I really, really need you guys to comment. Um... I work hard and I just I just want to be like taken to the next level already I've been I've been working on this grave shift I wish I could buy me a spaceship and fly y'all don't know my struggle y'all can't match my hustle dock yourself in a room doing five beats a day for three summers i deserve to do these numbers no i'm just kidding but i felt that <laughs> seriously though like i felt that because i i feel like with youtube i have sacrificed so much <laughs> And what I mean is like I don't spend time with family, friends, anything. Like my life consists of YouTube and now my family's life. Who by the way, shout out to my amazing husband who's literally the most private man in the world. And he's like, you got this baby, you can do it. You know, he sub fully supports that I'm an open book. <laughs> like what is it like to be married to an open book when you're so private? I'm telling you, if it wasn't for that man, I'd be a lot more open. I mean... Yeah, I would. <laughs> Alright, the coffee's kicking in. 
But anyway, my point is, talking about YouTube is, is I'm, I'm really trying to find out ways that I can help myself and not just like, oh, I hope this works. I hope this is a good video. I hope this is a good video. You know, like I'm really trying to find those ways. And um, one of the ways that I found is that you guys need to comment. <laughs> Sorry. I know that's asking a lot. I don't even know who's still watching. It's like 60 minutes, which I enjoy making longer videos now that I'm only uploading three times a week. Oh, by the way, remember guys, I'm doing Vlogmas. Hi, I'm doing Vlogmas and I'm starting the way they used to start back in the day, like when YouTube Furlies just started. So basically, um, I think Trisha Paytas still like starts that early, um, but a lot of YouTubers start Vlogmas like before, like early. Like they start like the day after Thanksgiving. So that's when I'm starting because honestly, like I miss uploading often. Like, I don't know, like YouTube is just in my soul. This is the best way for me to describe what it's like to be a YouTuber. Like it's a fucking roller coaster. It's like for three days you're on top, your channel's growing. And then for a month you're on the bottom and then you're on the top for like a day and then for three months you're on the bottom and then you're going to the top and you're like oh this feels so good I already know this trick I already know what's gonna happen next <laughs> yeah that's my life <laughs> the good thing is though I love roller coasters so yeah it's just it's just I just need a little extra push and that's where you guys come in and I'm not gonna say like, oh, share my videos. Like, I don't know, like, I mean, I guess I share YouTube videos. I, I spam the shit out of Suzette when I find a video. I'm like, hi, watch this. Hi, watch this. I'm not asking you guys to do that. Like, that's too much. I'm grateful that you guys are here, but I just need you guys to comment. Like, it would help me. I think it would help me tremendously <laughs> from what I've learned. Like, cause I said, like I said, I've been doing like my own research and stuff. Like, I don't know. I talk a lot. I'm gonna hate myself when I'm editing. Oh my god, 20 minutes. <laughs> We're gonna end this here. I miss you guys. I can't wait for Vlogmas. You gonna see this face every day. By the way, I'm constantly making Miranda's face. Miranda sings. I'm like, oh yeah. And I do that at work all day. Nobody, like, knows why I do that. <laughs> A 37 year old acting like Miranda sings. Oh my. Only like me and Faith and Alyssa. Skyla doesn't give a shit. But only us three. Like, we're the only ones who, like, even know what that means. So, anyways, hi. It's hot. Roxy's asleep. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and get dressed for work. What time is it? Yeah, I gotta get dressed for work. Okay, I love you guys so much. If you guys have any ideas of what you guys want to see in the comments, let me know. If you guys have actually watched me, if you guys have actually watched this entire video, let me know, please, and thank you. I love you guys. Oh, maybe I should start asking questions. Okay, you guys, do you guys agree or disagree on my theory about couples liking the same food? Deuces, dailies.